Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today, as you notice, we're back where we used to be. Mrs. Dude was nice enough to let us go back to our original corner. We've got a brand new fence, still got the Berlin wall up, I'm liking it. Today, we're making grits, but not just like my grandmother's grits. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest and our idea of grits were just a cup of grits and several cups of water and mix it up serve it and you had to use a boatload of sugar just to make it taste good but grits is like you can go to the south and they're so much different than how we did it in the pacific northwest i've had grits several times love the south version so i'm going to do it as best as i can via the south version we're going to start with bacon we're going to cut it up i've already got my shrimps here they're filleted they're fresh, about as fresh as I can get here in Boise, Idaho. And flame them out. We're gonna cook the shrimp and the bacon grease. So let's get started. So I got bacon and I got extra thick bacon with plenty of pepper on it. I'm just gonna take the bacon and cut it up into little pieces. We're going to take it and we're just going to put it into the cast iron pan and we're going to use that natural grease from the bacon to kind of give everything else its, its kick. Put it down on the Cuisinart 360, let it start its thing. As you can see, the bacon's come along quite nicely. We're gonna get them down to where they're almost crisp. I'm not gonna bore you with how to make bacon. I think everybody does know how to do that. But you can see we're starting to get some grease in the pan. I'm liking that. Well, it looks like the sun's come out. That's nice. The second part to this is we're gonna take three cups of chicken broth. And my grandmother would have just used water. And that's, that's fine. That's cool. I prefer chicken broth. Three cups. And we do have a little extra chicken broth in here, just in case yet you know, we have to, to unthicken the grits as they're cooking. So we're gonna put it here on the Cuisinart 360. We're gonna put a lid over them, that way it helps it cook a little faster, heat up, because we want it boiling. We'll put that on there. The bacon is almost done, so we're getting so close. We're gonna see you when the water starts boiling. So as you can see, our bacon's done, so I'm just gonna take it off, put it here on the towel. That's about perfect. So as you can see, our chicken broth is starting to boil. So now we're just gonna put in, we have a cup of grits. Just gonna put them in a little, you know, about a quarter cup at a time. Stir it around a little bit, a little bit more. Put in the last bit. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit, no more than about two, three minutes. Kind of go like this to it. At this point, I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of cheese, and this is extra sharp cheddar cheese into it.
Got another quarter cup. Mmm. That's coming together nicely. Another quarter cup. What I want to do is get about a half a cup or a complete cup of cheese into this. Oh, that's looking good. Starting to get that smell too. Mm. I'm going to also add our bacon from earlier. Move it off the side now. I just started to take our shrimp, lay them in here, in the bacon grease. I think about shrimp, it's not going to take very long at all. So at this point, we're just going to take our shrimp and put them in here. I'm going to plate some up. Ain't like Grandma did it though. Mmm. Look at that. Good. We have it all plated up. Now it's time for the test. Mmm. So much flavor. So good. Now it's time to try it with shrimp. Mmm. Serious comfort food, guys. Serious. My grandma, she'd love this. Mm. Telling you, you get everything out of this. You get the taste of the bacon and the cheddar. You don't really get the grits because I don't think they have a lot of flavor. But there's no sugar needed with this. Mm. Mm. That's amazing, guys. All right, recipes down below. Super simple to make. It did come from the Margaritaville cookbook, although I did tweak it a little bit. I added some bacon to it and shrimp, but for the most part, that's where it comes from. Thanks everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, comment. You know we dig your comments. Everybody be safe out there, please. Remember to do the bites, this time with shrimp and grits. I'm going back to eating, guys. Take care, everybody.